The Alachua County Commission is taking up an ordinance to ban conversion therapy of minors. The practice seeks to change a person's sexual orientation to match their birth gender. TV20's David Jones is live at the County Commission meeting after speaking with opponents and supporters of the ban. Dave, the Durant's Auditorium is pretty packed right now. The vast majority of people in there are supporters of this ban on conversion therapy. Right now, the commission is listening to public comment that started just a few minutes ago at 5.30. But earlier today, I spoke with a supporter of this ban from a local church here in Gainesville, as well as an opponent from the ban who's a rep at a council that opposes these kinds of bans nationwide. Thing that you know diminishes a human being's capability to live into their calling and, and into love um, is a violent act. Talia Raymond is an associate minister at the United Church of Gainesville. Her church is pro-LGBT and stands against conversion therapy, saying it's damaging to adolescents. You know, our brain is just forming and we're just coming into who we are. As we're coming to understand these feelings, we should be able to, to talk about them, to ask questions, to get answers that are based um, in support that are based in scientific reasoning and fact. But there are opponents of bans on conversion therapy. It's simply a matter of upholding the right to free speech and free exercise of religion rights. The Liberty Council sent a letter to Commissioner Charles Chestnut saying the county would be, quote, rushing into costly litigation. They say it would affect therapists' free speech. If you come in and have an ordinance like this, that in and of itself is making them violate the ethics of self-determination, of client self-determination, because the client no longer can ask for this, because if they provide it to them, then they get in trouble under the law. If we say, this is who I am, this is who I love, this is who, you know, I am, I am created, this is the gender I want to express or not express, um, to tell someone, no, you're wrong, or let's talk about that and see if I can change your mind, that's not honoring that person's freedom. Now, this has been a topic of discussion on the county side for months. The county attorney's office actually laid out a plan so that this ordinance can go through without attracting too much legal scrutiny. You may remember back in March of last year, the city of Gainesville actually passed a similar ban. Now, coming up later tonight, we're going to have the results of that vote both online at WCJB.com and tonight at 11. Reporting live in Gainesville, David Jones, TV20 News.